All right, hello. Howdy, 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 howdy. I have another tutorial for you. This one's going to teach you how to make your own single player game for Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. All right, so the first thing, the first thing I want to do is um, the game is a uh, automatically coded to to run its own intro dot bic video every time you start a single player so the first thing I want to do is I want to modify the executable using a hex editor so I'm going to create a copy of vampire.exe and I'm going to change this to no intro and what I want to do is I want to use a hex editor and there's you can you can uh, do a search for numerous hex editors on Google. I use Cygnus. So I just load up Cygnus and then I open the uh, the new vampire no intro dot executable I copied and renamed. And in here I'm going to search for the keyword intro dot bic and I, I did this earlier so it was already typed in so I just go find next and there's only one entry for this what we want to do is want to go into here into this code and I want to just zero this out go bye 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 and that's pretty much all we have to do to get rid of that we just save it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna create a shortcut of this and I'm gonna use uh, a moda map as an example so I'm gonna go into system and I'm gonna open it with winzip right click open 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 archive duh, 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 and go under chronicles and I'm going to I'm going uh, to teach you how to get um, one of these multiplayer chronicles to work in single player. I'm going to take uh, one of Ezekiel's maps. I'm going to take Baton Rouge here, and I'm going to copy it to the chronicles directory and press OK. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to rename this my single player. And I'm going to open it up with the notepad and scroll down to the bottom. And uh, this flag here, this is, um, there's various options you can have with this flag. Um, you can find the options in the codex codex Java script under the Chronicle info flags, and you'll have various flags like modern day multiplayer uh, requires st. Um, currently, the flags in here are set um, up here. It looks like it it's set up as modern day plus plus multiplayer plus st required. Well, since we're going to run this in single player, all I'm going to need is the mo is the uh, modern day flag, and I'm going to add a meta file line because you didn't seem to put one in there, and I'm going to refer that to my new NMF meta file, my single player dot NMF. And what I'm going to do with this NMF file is I'm going to get it to load a custom player, my own player, because if you don't have a designation for a player, it's going to use Kristoff as default, the, the Dark Age, Kristoff, Crusader look. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to create an NMF file, or just copy an existing one and modify it. I'm going to take just a basic MP saloon here and I'm going to modify it because I'm just being lazy. 
I'm going to call it the name that I assigned the other Chronicle to my single player. And I'm going to open it up in Notepad. And I'm going to add the not line player. And it doesn't have to be capitalized, but you could do that if you want. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to input um, any type of existing template that exists in the game um, from any type of dot not database. Um, to liven this up, I want to use I want to use a uh, a Half Life Marine um, that is included with Moda. So I'm going to load up I'm going to load up the classic Mega Pack, and I'm going to find the players in there. And you got Half Life Marines right here. So I want to use the uh, MP Soldier Gas Mask. <clears throat> so I'm going to just copy that template name. And I'm going to just input it in here for funsies. And I'm going to just save this NMF file. So now what we do is now that we have this copy, the, the, this shortcut I made earlier that directs to my no intro executable, I'm going to. I'm going to put a new uh, target line. I'm going to put an extension to this target line. And I'm going to put dash cron in there to uh, tell this executable to load a new chronicle in single player. And I'm going to refer to the chronicle that I created here. So that's going to be, um, that was going to be my single player. And you don't need to put the dot NSC at the end. You just, uh, just put the name in there and then click on apply and now we can just run this particular uh, I'm gonna name it here my single player put space in there and we could just run this and see what that looks like in the game so now that we're in the game we just go to single player and we can create a new game and if it uh, gives this warning here just go OK and there we are. It not only bypassed the intro.bic that gives an introduction to Kristoff in the Redemption game, but it now loads a new chronicle with a new character. So I'm playing as a, a Half-Life Marine in a gas mask running around on Baton Rouge. And that's pretty much how you do it. That's all there is to getting a single player game up and running. I hope this gives you a, a good idea of what you want to do for single player. So that concludes this tutorial. Over and out.